I have a question for you. What is the best pure electric small estate car on the market in the UK at the moment? Well, there's actually only one answer to that because it's the only pure electric small estate car on sale in the UK, quite literally in a class of its own. It is, of course, this, the MG5 EV. Now, it's pretty good value when it's new, but there is a way to make it even cheaper, and that is to buy one that has been pre-loved. But before I give you the lowdown on what to look for when it comes to pre-loved MG5s, please do remember to like and subscribe and let us know in the comments whether you'd prefer a small estate like the MG5 EV or you'd be just as happy with an electric SUV. Let's do some completely unscientific electrifying customer research. OK, so what have we got here? Well, the MG5 EV was actually launched back in 2020 as a practical answer to people who wanted to drive an electric car, but also needed it to be properly functional. It is a small estate, but it has a really nice big boot, a fairly averagely sized battery, generous equipment and a nice, attractive price tag. Now, what you don't get, of course, is spaceship styling or anything particularly flashy. And um, this is maybe what we like to call the Marks and Spencer underpants of the car world. Practical, useful, comfortable. You know exactly what you're getting, that kind of thing. <laughs> now, don't hate me for saying this because I know there are a lot of MG lovers out there, but let's face it. I would say that this is best described as a bit bland. There's a hint of Volkswagen in the styling if you do squint, but I don't think it's particularly stand out, but I will leave it to you to make up your own mind about it and do let us know what you think in the comments below. Now, the main thrust of the argument is in here at the back, because that is a boot that is nearly a third bigger than an average hatchback like a VW Golf. And you can fold the seats down for even more space. So it is incredibly practical, although worth pointing out that the seats don't fold completely flat, which is just a little bit of a niggle. So you want to pick up a bargain secondhand version. Sounds like it would be just a ticket, right? Well, there are a few things to consider before you take the plunge because it's not quite as simple as it first seems. First of all, you actually need to decide which version best suits you. The range has been pretty self-explanatory, to be honest. There are basically two trims to choose from, Excite and Exclusive. The difference between the two of them are luxury items like extra driver assistance systems and keyless go, because actually all MG5s come with a pretty comprehensive set of equipment, usually which you'd only actually find on much more expensive cars, which is obviously a benefit. Now, we have done a full review of this car on electrifying.com and some of the standout highlights should be popping up just now. Now, going by the general feel, I think the quality is good, although I think you're probably aware that the car is obviously built to a price. Um, it has a really nice, decent touchscreen here in the middle, and you've got the aircon controllers just here, and this classy little rotary drive selector, which I do really like. Um, there's not too much surprise and delight, but a pretty sterling effort. And actually, the good news is that I haven't found any annoying niggles yet. It is wise to note though, there is no smart app for your phone. So you can't check charging or preheat from the comfort of your bed like you can with most electric cars these days. It's a small but important thing, especially if you're coming from another electric car and have got used to handy things like charge timers. The major difference only comes with a power pack upgrade that came out in late 2021. Cars from 2020 came with a 52.2 kilowatt hour battery and 214 miles of possible range with a 0 to 62 mile per hour in about eight and a half seconds. The later long range version that arrived late in 2021, like this one, comes with a 61.1 kilowatt hour battery, a more generous 250 miles of range and a 0 to 62 time of 7.7 seconds. So the later cars are a bit faster, more efficient and have more convenience, but still the same two trim options. Now, this one can be charged faster too, being able to take 80 kilowatt DC. So it can take about just under three quarters of an hour to charge from 10 to 80 percent on public rapid chargers. And yes, the port is still in the nose. It's rather flimsy. And let's be honest, it's just a bit inconvenient, particularly if you're carrying an extra load. <laughs> Now, 
Now, when it comes to the driving, I would say that all MG5s have the same kind of vibe. They're fine. <laughs> Nothing too spectacular, but no nightmares. And owners seem more than happy with them. We have actually heard that MG5s are really popular with taxi drivers and couriers. And these are people that are obviously using their cars very frequently. And also they are people that appreciate the value of a car. Now, this is obviously pretty cheap to run which is obviously another reason why the taxi drivers and couriers love them so much. Um, now, the 16-inch alloys, they might not be very blingy, but they are a very common size. And what that means is that the tyre price is very reasonable. You can get a full set from a recognised brand and it's going to cost you only £315, which is really good value. Now that's just as well, because we've heard that the MG5 can wear their front tires out quite fast. Check that any replacements are a decent brand if you're buying a used. If you drive more sedately, you should get around 3.6 miles per kilowatt of energy put into the battery, which means you'll be able to do a 100 mile journey for about £1.38 if you charge on a cheap night tariff at home or about a tenner if you use a public charge point. The MG5 also encourages you to drive sedately because it has one of the nicest, most comfortable rides of any car. Those tiny wheels might not be very bling, but they are super squishy and absorb bumps and potholes really well. It is really very relaxing. Now there is a seven year manufacturer's warranty that can be passed on from owner to owner as long as the servicing is kept up to date. So that means unlimited miles up to 12 months old and then 80,000 miles from then onwards until the seven years is up. And even better, if you do under 10,000 miles a year, MG offers a full on service plan for just six pounds a month. I mean, come on, six pounds a month? What is that? Two frothy coffees? Maybe one and a half, but depending on where you live, that's proper dealer servicing for less than it'd cost to get an old banger done at a dodgy garage under the arches. So what about second hand? Well, because it's only been around in the UK market since 2020, there aren't loads of older versions to choose from, but they do exist. Interestingly, the global shortage of chips semiconductor microchips rather than the potato variety that are vital to the operation of electronics found in modern cars has meant that production of new vehicles from all car makers has slowed down considerably which means that second-hand car prices generally have jumped up by as much as 30 percent in the past 18 months because people just can't get hold of their new cars and in turn that means that prices for this remain extremely solid now there are still some deals out there even actually a quick scan of the classifieds showed up several 2020 cars with low mileage for sale for between about 21 and 23,000 pounds now there aren't many pure electric cars that offer this kind of range and practicality for that kind of money so if you are willing to compromise a little bit on the color and perhaps the trim then you're not going to have to wait to pick up a new one but and it is a big but Lease deals on a new MG5 are surprisingly good value. A brand new long range in Excite trim works out at £279 a month over four years from MG itself, at which point you can then pay it off and keep it, return the car or get a new one. So buying secondhand might not be your only or cheapest option, unless you're dedicated to buying outright. As far as things that go wrong, well, there have been some owners commenting on wobbles with charging, some electrical gremlins, paint quality issues, and general queries about stuff like the roof bars only being decorative. Well, that has been resolved because it turns out that you can put stuff on the roof bars of an MG5, but only up to 35 kilos. It's about five and a half stone, or the weight of an average four-year-old, according to the internet. And but please don't put your four-year-old on the roof to test it. Unless, of course, they've been really irritating. Um, now, luckily, the new version in executive trim can carry 75 kilos, roughly the weight of a grown-up, much more sensible. But again, don't put your wife or husband on the roof bar. Might get into trouble for that one. To put it into context, though, it means you can put a couple of light racing bikes on the earlier cars, but you probably won't be able to put a loaded roof box or some of the heavier e-bikes up there. 
Other than that, the MG5 seems to be reliable and easy to use, which is what you want in a practical car. It's also nice to note that MG seems to pay attention to customer feedback. A few gripes from the original version seem to have been addressed in the second generation. So there you have it. The MG5 EV is still a fantastic bet. Maybe not the sexiest of pure electric cars, but it is one that offers a huge chunk of practicality for a lot less money than you think. Just do make sure that you can't actually get a brand new for not much more than a second hand, especially if you're paying on finance. So do your research on that. I think the best bit is that the MG5 is a really good argument for the fact that value for money doesn't have to be cheap, if you get what I'm saying. If you want to know more about smart electric choices, then please do check out electrifying.com, where we've got loads of used electric buying advice to help you pick the right car for you. And don't forget, do like and subscribe.